explain. I'll have order in my courtroom. You have not been dismissed, all right? Now you get back up on that stand. Get back up on that stand. You're unnecessary. Get back up on that Get back up on that You didn't have to. Get back up on that Don't do this here. Don't do this. Your Honor, Mr. Cassidyne's behavior has proven that he has no business being Laura Spencer's legal guardian. Mr. Cassidyne has allowed the man who raped Laura unlimited access to the patient. Mr. Spencer's mere presence around Laura is what caused her all the trauma and sent her to catatonia. And when Laura did recover, Mr. Spencer lied to her, duped her into a phony marriage, not telling her that he was already married to that woman. Your Honor, I would like you to appoint me Laura Spencer's legal guardian. She should have some, some peace, and I will respect her the way that she deserves to be. Thank you. Your Honor, what happened to Luke and Laura in 1979 happened between Luke and Laura. They have dealt with it, and it was forgiven a long time ago. Not only that, they went on to have a wonderfully successful marriage. They have two beautiful children, and the wedding that Mr. Baldwin was referring to was a wedding that Laura Spencer requested because she wanted to be before her friends and family so they could hear her love and hear her make a commitment to Luke Spencer. Not to Mr. Baldwin, to Luke Spencer. And that is what Mr. Baldwin is unable to accept. That is why we're here. That is why he's orchestrated this circus that we're all forced to be a part of. Because he can't accept that Laura chose Luke and not Mr. Baldwin. Not only that, Mr. Baldwin saying he wants to protect Laura, but he is not listening to her direct request, a written request, I might add, to appoint Nicholas Cassidyne as guardian. Mr. Baldwin has wasted the court's time. He has also inflicted suffering on Laura's friends and family, and they don't deserve that. This is absolute nonsense. There is no substance to this case. I think there's no grounds, and I think it should be dismissed. A deal of evidence to review here. This is a complex and highly emotional case, and I want to examine the facts carefully before rendering my decision. In the meantime, Laura Spencer will remain a ward of the court. This proceeding is dismissed. All rise. Hey, Dad, I'm going to see about cop I'll go check the ladies' room. Right Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Scotty. It took you most of your life to do it, but you finally got Luke. And with such style, the way you devastated Lulu in the process. Oh, my. You must be so proud. I did what I did for Laura. I'm not sure that Laura could forgive you for that. I know I can't. I wish my testimony had been more helpful. All you did was relate the facts of my mother's condition. You can't ask for more than that. Listen, when the time comes, and if Lulu's of the mind, have her come and talk to me. Thank you. You might want to encourage Nicholas to talk to me, too. I'm very good with anger management issues. I wish that I could read the judge. But I can't. We're just going to have to wait. Thank you. Especially for the, uh, for the damage control. I'm going to check my messages. I'll let you know when the decision is in. Okay. denied the rape, I'd be perjuring myself, and then, then I would look unfit to take care of Mom anyway. So. I know, Nick. Well, 
Baldwin finally got what he wanted. He's been waiting about 25 years to play the victimized husband, turned into avenging hero, and now it's all a matter of legal record. But I'll tell you this, he's done enough damage. He's got to be stopped. First you have to find Lulu. Do you... Well, you were right, wife. Lulu should have heard all this from me. Well, the truth is she still needs to hear from you. Look, she's shattered and you need to put her back together. Beyond that one horrible night her parents left each other. Luke was right. Baldwin won't stop until he takes Laura away from him. It was so stupid for me to go after him like that. I just kept seeing that smug little look on his face, the way he hurts people, people I care about. Just like Craig, this anger that you're feeling is just as much about Jax's brother as it is about Scott. Oh, I don't know. Maybe because you and your father used to come out here when you were a little girl. The two of you spent a lot of time out there ice fishing. Listening to the fish laugh at you and talking about things. You used to be so full of questions in those days. What's the snow made of? And where does the wind come from? How do the fish breathe underwater? <laughs> you used to make my head ache with all your questions. Dad. Did, did you rape my mother? Luke, no, wait. 